Okay, whoa, whoa, hold up. What just happened there? Well, that was Adobe's answer to ChatGPT. This is super powered Adobe Sensei and it's called Adobe Firefly. All right, all right. This is pretty big news because as we know, AI generated content imagery of any sort is getting a lot of spotlight at the moment. So for Adobe who already had a stake in the game with Sensei and to up the ante with image manipulation to this degree are seriously trying to fend off the competition here. Okay, let's look at what this thing can actually do. But before that, in case you don't know, I'm Andy Edmondson, this is DigiPro Tips, and here we work smarter, not harder. It gives you more time to be creative. Let's get into it. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, this is a little bit scary for what it means for our industry, but I'm not gonna pull at that thread. Let's just carry on um, looking at how impressive this is at the moment and how useful it could be too. I mean, it basically means the end of rotoscoping, roto brush, uh, matte painting, like product photography, to a degree. Um, yeah, all right, okay. I might be going a little bit far with that one. But seriously, it took those headphones and conjured up two completely different scenarios, backgrounds, even like even where it placed them, just from a text prompt. So Adobe's tagline for Firefly is to give creators like superpowers. I mean, in my mind, we all had superpowers before this, but I think it gives, you know, marketing managers and those sorts of people that are less au fait with Photoshop and Illustrator, the power to do what they could never before. Why do I say that? Well, I say that because Adobe are rolling this out to Adobe Express and Adobe Experience Manager as like one of the primary areas for this piece of technology. They are rolling it out to Photoshop and Illustrator, but it's not clear what functionality it will have in kind of any of the programs really. They're a little loose on that detail, but in the video, you can clearly see that it's using Adobe Express for some of these AI magicry, for want of a better word, um, which you know is the slimmed down, very um, kind of basic version of Photoshop Illustrator together um, that anybody can use. It's, it's like a starting program, but Firefly is gonna be integrated into that and it is, is impressive from what I can tell. And if you, like me, wandered down the thought train of licensing, like who owns the copyright license for an AI generated image? I've kind of had this with other AI imagery as well. Well, Adobe have trained it to use kind of a, a, like stock imagery that they own um, and to be able to not interfere with any copyright infringement and it's gonna be for commercial use, which is pretty incredible also. Like you can use this to create imagery, bespoke imagery from nothing for your clients. I feel like I need to put a disclaimer on that just because these are, you know, this is what I'm gathering from their press release. This isn't verbatim. Um, so take that with a pinch of salt and do look into it yourself before you go and do that for a client. One of the most interesting parts to this release uh, in my opinion, is their statement on compensating creators. Now, like Adobe Stock and Behance, um, there's gonna be a scheme, it seems, where they will reward you, um, or even pay you, I guess, uh, for allowing your content to be used in the training, the modeling of Firefly. And even more interesting than that is the fact that at the top of the release, it says that creators will have the option to toggle um, or use a tag that says, do not train which means your content won't be tagged as being able to be used in Firefly's modeling. But that leads me to think, if you don't use that tag or you forget to use the tag, does that mean that your content is automatically fed into Firefly for its future use? I think that question is gonna come up for them quite often and I'm interested to hear what the answer is. But all I know is I am definitely getting my hands on that beta because I wanna give this a spin and see firsthand what it can do because there is some absolute AI magic going on here. And 
If you're a fan of Digi Pro Tips and you've got this far, so of course you are, then you'll know as pro tippers, we are working smarter, not harder here. And what encompasses that more than anything else? Well, it's using AI to slim down, make more efficient your workflow and process. AI generated imagery is exactly that. It gives you more time to be creative in other areas. So yeah, AI working smarter, not harder for you. This could be used in creating thumbnails, presentations, product, like brand photography, any number of uses really. Oh, and you know, while you're here, you might as well find out a little bit more about virtual time savers in other areas, like, I don't know, remote editing for your whole team. Check it out here.